Me and Mike always fight. Sir. Welcome to Signals on 91.3 Lagos Sox. Um, it's Idum Barak to all our Muslim faithfuls. Um, I saw something this morning that says that if you don't have PVC, you will not collect salam meat. I saw it was plenty list like this. So I said, ah, okay. If you like have PVC, collect salam meat. And please, 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 don't waste food. Please, if you know you don't want it, kindly tell them that you don't want. I beg. Like, Ram is expensive. Is it Ram or cow? But all of, meat is expensive at the moment. Food is expensive and people are hungry. So please, it's okay to collect and give out to other people who really need food. Anyway, we go straight to Signals Business where we pitch and sell our market in 30 seconds. Your name, your location, what did you sell? What's unique about your business? What's special about your product and service? And how can we reach you? The numbers to call is 0809 191 Zero eight zero nine triple two zero nine one two. My people are looking for me, so hello, good morning. Good morning. Eh? Good, morning. good morning. Please reduce the okay. Please reduce the volumes of your radio set. Please reduce the volumes of your radio set and call us back. Zero eight zero nine one nine one three nine one three. Zero eight zero nine triple two zero nine one three. Zero one five one five one nine one three. Please reduce the volumes of your radio set. Thank you so much. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name and where are you calling us from? Yes, my name is Good Motive, and I'm calling from Lasu Igondo Road here in Lagos. Okay, what are we selling this morning? All right, so I want to thank uh, uh, your station for this good opportunity. It's a wonderful one. Uh, yes, on Good Motive store. You will you agree with me that there are, uh, there are people are paying uh, monthly subscriptions in order to watch satellite TV channels. And sometimes, most times, there are no lights to even watch it, and they, they don't enjoy it. And at the end, they will pay at the end of the month. So, yes, on Good Motive Store, we have come with a different narrative. To change this narrative, we are come with the free to air, where you are not paying uh, monthly or yearly subscriptions. It is absolutely free. It is one-time payment and one-time installation. How we can we reach you? Oh, let me take other calls. Your WhatsApp call, please. All right. You, um, on Facebook. No, you no, no. WhatsApp. So. Ah. Sorry? Give us your WhatsApp number, please. Okay. My WhatsApp number is 006 mm -hmm. 49 Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? So my name is Ian Eo. I'm calling from the Lucky Arizona. Okay, what are we selling this morning? We are promotion specialists. Cocoa tea, drag, all kind of um, snakes, things that um bug in our apartment. Okay, so uh, how can we reach you? We do it just as a guarantee of uh, six months of pure and free apartment of this first company. So how can uh, we reach you? Zero zero seven three zero eight one seven zero. Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Please do call us back. Reduce the volumes of your radio set. Your name, your location. What do you sell? What's unique about your business? And how can we reach you? Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? My name is Ajure. I'm from calling from Oba. Okay. What are you? We're into dressmaking, ready to wear. We even deliver as far as um in Potter Court and and um, all that stuff. Okay. So my number is zero seven zero eight six. Thank you. Your name, your location, what do you sell? What's unique or special about your product, your service, and how can we reach you? Please call your numbers clearly and out. Hello, good morning. 
Reduce the volumes of your radio set, please. Your name, your location, what do you sell, what's unique about your business, and how can we reach you? The numbers to call is 009 191 3913 or 0809-322-0913 0015151913 0015151913 0015151913 0809-322-0913 Your name, your location, what do you sell, what's unique, what's special about your product and how can we reach you, your WhatsApp line is fine Ring Ring Huawei 0151519130 or 0151509130. Hello, good morning. 0151519130 or 0151509130. Signals business will repeat and sell in 30 seconds. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name, where are you calling us from? My, my name is Justin Shafter, I'm Latuga, calling from Adriki Kurudu. Okay. What are you telling to us this morning, sir? I deal in computer accessories, repair laptops and computers. And you can reach me on 080 Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. 009 234 5913 or 0151 519130. Your name, your location, what do you sell? What's unique? What's special about your products and service? And how can we receive? 009 or zero eight zero nine triple two zero nine one three or zero one five one five one nine one three. Signals business, your name, your location, what did you sell was unique or special about your product, service. And if you want to sell on beer for someone, please call us and sell. Zero one five one five one nine one three or zero one five one five zero nine one three. Call us 009 Hello, good morning. Reduce the volumes of your radio set. Like, Ruba will say, Hey, who? You lolly. 0151519130. A zero one five one five zero nine one three a zero zero nine two three four five nine one three a zero eight zero nine one nine one three nine one three. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Zero zero nine. Hello, good morning. Zero one five one five one nine one three or zero one five zero nine one three zero eight zero nine. It's not me, it's next work. Oh, zero zero nine triple two zero nine one three zero eight zero nine one nine one three nine one three. Hello, good morning. Hello, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, your name, where are you calling us from? Yeah, this is my jersey. Connect from what I say. Okay, what are we selling? Mazi, what are Hello. we selling? I can hear you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Zero zero nine two three four five nine one three zero one five one five one nine one three. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Please reduce the volume of your radio set. Yes, I'm trying to Okay. Go ahead. My name is Tuchiku. Okay. Good job. I'm I'm engineer. I'm building material engineer. I'm building. I'm a contractor. I live in Kudu. Okay. So, so my, my number is zero eight zero. Mm-hmm. Nine three four three. One one. 
3-0. Thank you. Call us 015151913. We have two minutes to go. 0151519130 or 0151509130 or 0092345913. Zero eight zero nine one nine one three nine one three. Your name, your location, what do you sell? What's special about your product, your service, and how can we reach you? Have you been disconnected because you didn't link your national identification number to your MCN Remy, number? Remy, call Duwali, how are you? If you already have your NIN, here are five ways to reconnect. One, dial star 785 hash. Two, text your national identification number NIN to 785. Three, chat with Ziggy on WhatsApp number plus 234-9033-00001. Four, visit my MTN NG app. Or five, visit www.mtn.ng. If you don't have a national identification number, just walk into any MTN store or Nimsi Center near you or visit the MTN website to book an appointment. What are we doing today? Welcome back. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, my name. Where are you calling us from? My name is Hajara. I'm calling from Surulere. Okay. What are we selling? We are selling um, Swedish cosmetics called Oriflame, and we offer people the opportunity to look great, make money, and have fun from the comfort of their home. And we have a free registration ongoing this month. So I coach women on how to make money from home. They can reach me on 081-44-707274. Thank you. Smart. Hello, good morning. <coughs> Hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, Nima, where are you calling us from? Thank you. Thank you for the great job, man. Okay. Well, uh, I'm sorry. I can't hear um, you. Oh um, no! I'm selling on on original. Only. So I'm living at that town. So, so you can reach me at zero eight one two one 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 two. Okay, then. Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Your name or where you calling us from? Good morning. I can hear you. My name is Tebo Shubuani. Okay, please reduce the volume of your radio set. Okay, 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 okay. So, okay. Go ahead, please. I'm from Ikoso, Lagos State, yes. I'm in Sophie Fanny. Okay. Yes, I have, I have smoked fish. Pass. Yes, later. Eat more. Eat more cat fish. So, so I have fresh you? ones, I have uh, cooked ones. Mm -hmm. So how can we reach you, sir? Your number? 090-32-34-024. Thank you. Okay, let's do two more minutes. Let's do two more minutes. Call us 9 234 or 0809-222-0913. 0091913913 signals business where we pitch and sell in 30 seconds your name your location what do you sell what's unique or special about your product and how can we reach you your whatsapp line 0092345913 hello good morning hello good morning your name or where are you calling us from reduce the volume of your radio set please can you hear me now yes i can go ahead please Okay, I'm into step out uh, business. What's your auto name? Se auto step out. And I sell all kinds of vehicle weapons. All kinds of vehicle weapons. Okay, so how so we complete any kind I sell. And my business area is at uh, Ladeco Market at Moshi here. We deal on that. 
my supplier as well. What's so your my, name and how can we reach you? My WhatsApp you? number is this one. I want to call out now. Oga, okay, what's zero your seven name? Zero, zero seven zero three five three eight two five three four. Thank you. Your name, your location, what do you sell? What's unique or special about your business? And how can we reach you? Your name, your location, what do you sell? What's unique about your business? And how can we reach you quickly? The number to call is 0809-191-3913-0809-222-0913-0809-234-5913. One more, one more before we wrap. I was stressed, but one more before we wrap this segment up. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name, where are you calling us from? Yeah, my name is Maxwell. Calling you from Ikoyi. Okay, what's Maxwell? Ovalende, number 16, Ikoyi, Ovalende. I deal on fructose, fast food, accommodation, and lounge, which is hospitality business. Hmm. So, we supply food for companies, entertainment, art fees, and etc. So how can we reach you? My number is 80 mm -hmm. 253 Thank you. And that's it for Signals Business. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Have you been disconnected because you didn't link your national identification Hello, number buddy. to your MTN number? Don't worry. If you already have your okay, NIA, so here are five ways to connect. One, dial star 785. Um, Two, text your national identification number NIN to 785. Three, chat with Ziggy on WhatsApp number plus 234-9033-00001. Four, visit my MTN NG app. Or five, visit www.mtn.ng. If you don't have a national identification number, just walk into any MTN store or Nimsi Center near you or visit the MTN website to book an appointment. What are we doing today? There's a new coffee in town. A glass of wine, a cup of coffee, and if you're like me, a glass of smoothie. With signals served on Lagos Talks 91.3 every Saturday at 10 a.m. Your mind oh will dream again. We compulsively dream again. <laughs> um, so again. Welcome back to Signals on IT 1.3 Legal Socks. My name is Adeomi Oshodi. Well, um, Signals business will continue next week Saturday. Again, is it Happy Eid Mubarak. Aha! So, Muslim um, faithfuls, please don't waste meat. If you cannot chop meat, give it out to people who want it. Ram is expensive. All those tin rams that I saw, eh? It's not nice. So, um, the heavy rains in Lagos is back again. Where, like, when the rainy season yesterday's rain and i think it's raining in some parts of um, lagos the traffic the traffic was um <laughs> even me <laughs> i was affected right and then um we're looking at drainage system some some parts of surulere was really flooded um i saw somebody saying that um the roads were not good they did good roads hmm? they did roads not good they did roads and again the places everywhere is flooded in Sri like some major parts of Sri Lanka is flooded and then somebody commented that when you put you drink water and pour it inside the <laughs> inside the gutter but however it is how we coping with um your area flooding that's one then number two <clears throat> i'm going to look for trouble we're going to look for trouble but again we'll try and we'll try and um, we'll try and be nice the first scarcity is not smiling. There are queues everywhere. There are major, major queues everywhere. Some some filling stations are selling at one night lit per liter, two hundred per liter in some parts of Lagos. Other fuel stations are hoarding their products. There are queues even as of this morning, very early, six thirty-seven. 
the queues everywhere and the problem well they say okay because the idiot cabrillo celebration is on people are traveling they're inflating prices left right and center but here's the thing if you're at any filling station and um i can't begin to imagine i, I saw something i was going to read out i can't begin to imagine that we as and that's what we that's our focus for this morning um we as an oil producing nation where eight months to election right we as an oil producing nation we still have to suffer fuel let me just call it the way it is let me know let me know use for for it fuel right we still have to suffer um for sh shortage and um you, i think i was the the gentleman who buys four for us at the office was like madam we need to buy four i'm like how we're back at this again and so for how long is this going to go on if you're at any filling station please call us share your experience with us that's at least let's feel um well what people are buying <laughs> you know somebody posted something and person said that there is no money there's no money people are buying rum but they have to fulfill their um, Muslim um, right obligation, so the money will come out. That's that's by the way. But if you are at any filling station, because I'm wondering why we have to um, suffer for fuel again. Uh, uh, some 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 people will say that our income is not increasing yet. Everything is going up. Um, I was still having a funny funny exchange with. Um, a colleague of mine at the office and uh, and and i know that anytime we're, we're talking it's always in inflation 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 and i'm wondering just leave inflation anyway just let it go and and here's the thing they we were blaming no, as we we're blaming um the ukraine and russia war but what what's the problem with us here why are we having to why are we having the we are producing oil that's my that's my focus we're producing oil they say our refiners are not good right um and we still have to export you're going to help me this morning and i'm going to open the phone lines if you are the feeling session please call share your experience with us because and then there is diesel that one is just going up like from 600 to um 600 to 820 per liter how are we going to just survive elections is eight months away right and um, um bus fares have tripled not even when there is rain so you know that by the time you get into um you want to take bus you are looking at on eh? they said they were even arguing with me i think it was yesterday 200 250 to some places and you're wondering why are we why are we going through all of this there's a chain reaction from the recent fuel scarcity that has made commuters desperate enough to board unidentified vehicles. I, I remember that I saw somebody post that um, please don't enter Sienna is kidnapping, kidnapping vehicles, right? You also want to help your fellow uh, Nigerian, but you also have to be very careful. So that safety, we're still looking at safety and security that cuts across every one of us. We're looking at um, fuel scarcity and. And then they say some 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 say that the the exporters are the importers sorry the importers are angry they want to increase it how we why is why is it that everything is collapsing on its own that's that's my that's what i want us to discuss this morning we're all producing nation you know me i like to look for trouble small 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 trouble to begin to question where we are where we are at this moment at first we're saying everybody get your pvc let's elect the right people in government but even when we elect the right people in government a lot of things has gone it's going on its own it's turning on its own let me use that and say that how then are we going to have a nation that works um have well at least let's even still have it at 160 it's 163 yes palita even at that if we can reduce it it's going to go a long way but then there are a lot of factors that is that surrounds this but again please if you're at the filling station if you're not in traffic because the traffic is heavy that that well, you would have staying there you are trying the numbers to call is zero zero nine two three four send us whatsapp messages if 
you can call us 009-234-5913 or call us 009-191-3913 what do you think about the false scarcity currently going on 009-191-3913-0151-51913 hello good morning hello Call us back 009-234-5913-0809-222-0913 or WhatsApp 009-234-5913. Why must we be at the end <laughs> of certain decisions that are not favorable to us? Citizens are always at the receiving end. Why are we always at the receiving end? Before. Hello, good morning. Oh no, reduce the volumes of your radio set 009 0809 What's up, us or call us 009 191 Yes, signals. I'm a right back. I'm going. Ah, this actually not go yet. Hello, good morning. Hello. Anybody home? Zero zero nine. Ah, sorry. Zero zero. Please do call us back. Zero zero nine one nine one three nine one three zero one five one five one nine one three. We're discussing the first cases this morning. In some filling stations, they're selling 168 to 200 per liter. If they're still selling at 163, fine, bye. Don't go and do a little 0151 Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Reduce the volume of your radio set. Thank you. I have, have uh, is the car, is the car, I, have, I, I don't mind. Oh yeah, thank you. I'm listening. Your name and where you calling us from? Uh, my name is Peter. Okay. I am in a job, but no road traffic. <laughs> what do you and think you say no fuel. <laughs> where, where, why all the cars on the road? <laughs> I can imagine. There's no fuel. I've been on this traffic for two hours. Shy. Sorry. Hmm. Honestly, I'm trying to even to turn. And take a gumbo road and, 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 and go my way. Under the beach. That is serious. So now, um, my sister, you could remember when Jonathan wanted to remove this first subsidy. Ouch! By now, we would have gone for this, for this hardship. But the people then sponsor the protest in Nigeria. <laughs> Even when our president said there's nothing like a subsidy is a fraud. Now, this is where we are now. Um, few months back, Minister of Finance said if they can remove subsidy on uh, diesel, that they will, the same way they use it technically, they will remove the one of petrol. And that's where we are. And they will do it technically. So let nobody suffer. Let nobody cry. We are there fitted up what we are saying to bear. Mm. We are targeted. Me mm. as a person, even in 1005, I will buy, I will try. Let those people who supported this government, <laughs> they will hear them. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm listening. Do you know what? Those people that supported this government, I want them to go for penance. Speak for God's forgiveness. Because the problem you like to suffering. Mm. Honestly, my sister. Now, and funny enough, eighty percent of them in Lagos say they are poor people. Thank you. Thank you so much, Peter. Um <laughs> yeah, you raised a valid point. There's traffic, there is no foil. I, I, anyway. <laughs> and then I subsidy and I don't know. I, I I really don't know because it's biting. It's biting everybody. We're feeling it. We're feeling the heat, and I, I don't know if change is coming soon. I I really don't know. But what are your thoughts? 
We're talking first cassette. Have you been able to get well? And um, and then there's rain, and then there's bad drainage system. Zero zero nine two three four five nine one three or zero one five one five zero nine one three or zero one five one five one nine one three. We're talking, we're discussing the four stars you see this morning, and what are your thoughts? If you had any feelings, to from please share share what's going on there and how much they are selling for. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Please reduce the volume of your radio set. Okay, like the former caller, uh, the topic I was on the show, I'm in the car. Hey. How are you this morning, my Fine, sister? Fine, thank you. Thank you for listening. <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's wonderful, Nigeria. It's totally legal. The truth is this. The absolute truth is this. Buhari is an unmitigated disaster. Like he said, like the former caller said, just you know, that I have my own phone. Mm. Supported this government into power. I know many of them they regret, they openly regret supporting this government. This government is the worst, it will go down in the dustbin of Nigeria history as the worst government Nigeria ever had. This government is a cachistocratic gerontocracy. It's cachistocratic in the Should sense I open that my the dictionary? It's, it's the government of the worst citizens. Mm. And it's a gerontocracy because they are all old and out of touch with reality. Nigeria has never had it so bad. Mm. People now struggle to eat once a day. Once people struggle to eat once a day. Look at the roads all over Lagos. How will there be traffic? They are shopping not because people are buying food and the black men. Well, because the roads are all bad. How long the have you been in traffic? have been very severe. It washed away a lot of the roads. I live around and that. How long have you, you been know? in it? You said how long? How many hours have you been in traffic? No, no, I'm not actually in traffic. I just stepped out to do some okay, little errand in my neighborhood. Mm. I'm not... I didn't really go out on the high street. Mm. So, but I know the way it is. It's just started raining now. Yes, it is. Around where I stay, by the way, I live. The roads have all been washed away. You know, Lagos rain is acidic. The water is salty. The, 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 the roads are very bad. And there's no fuel. The three filling station we have here is still long queues of fuel. Mm. People suffering like animals. Nigeria has become infradig. It has become subhuman. Mm. Mm. There's a certain level of decency, a certain level of near luxury every human being is entitled to. To keep body and soul and human dignity together. Nigeria has gone beyond that level. And that is because this government is an unmitigated disaster. I'll say it anyway, I can defend it anyway. And the truth is that people know, even those in government, even the, 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 the politicians in government, they know. They know that they are a disaster. The worst government Nigeria has ever had is this present government from 2015 to date. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you. It signals and we're talking the first cast. If you had any feeling station, if you're in traffic, how long have you been in traffic? The traffic yesterday from, and I, I saw the pictures from the Lab Bridge. Hell, I don't know when, when the people got home because it's, 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 um, it's not normal. Let me use that word. I know somebody who is going to the mainland and she had called and said, see, I spent like two to three hours this morning. Yes, we can say that people are traveling because of the festive period but then again they're going to come back stores are expensive like um like tomorrow we say inflation is everywhere and and the queues are still not um and are, are not reducing at all because again if there's no nepa if there's no power we'll have to rely on our generators and even for generators you have to buy for so if you had any filling station let us know how how much they're selling for some people they want to sell at 220 per liter in some states and for some they're still selling at 165 per liter the question for me is why if we're an oil producing nation why how are we having to struggle they say election is in eight months time people are we're conversing that people should get their pvcs <laughs> the devil advocating me this morning is saying what would our pvc change right some parts it, it, <sighs> let me pick this hello good morning hello hello Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Go ahead. Is your name or where you calling us from? Uh, 
My name is Basu. Basu from where? I'm calling from Lakey. Okay, I hope you're not in traffic. Um, no, actually, I'm not inside traffic anymore. Okay, thank and you. And I have fuel well enough in my car. Are you going to so share? Are you, to... <laughs> huh? are you going to share? <laughs> Am I going where? Are you going to share? Share your fuel. Ah, if you need it, I can share it for you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Go ahead, please, share with us. <laughs> Okay. Sorry. Uh, I want to contribute uh, for the foreign issue mm. and the traffic we always have in Lagos. You know, because of this uh, present government, I really discovered that uh, yes, why wouldn't we have traffic when at the uh, as in thirty one uh, the whole thirty six states in Nigeria are using only Lagos ports? Why wouldn't there be traffic? Other port in Nigeria is not functioning like Lagos. So everybody are just coming here to lap, to lap, to lap in Lagos. So for my own side, I really believe that is part of what caused traffic in Lagos. Mm -hmm. And two, it's also a very big pain to the citizens of this nation that we are the oil producing nation in, in, in one of the uh, countries in the world. But we are suffering for fuel daily. Why? Because we don't have refineries. If this country can have like two, or let me just say, two refineries that is working, we drill our oil here, we refine it here, we buy it from ourselves, you know, things will have come down. Mm -hmm. Now we don't have fuel, we don't have light. I live in a jugular. My bill is high every single month. As at last month, in a compass that we say we are just for, last, last year, the bill was like 12,000. Last year, July, was 12,000. And it was still difficult for people to pay. But can you imagine last month, they brought a bill of 35,000. 35,000. And we don't see the light. They give light only seven hours in a day. A full day like this will not have light. Maybe later in the noon, day, like 2 o'clock, they may, they think on them too. Before 3 or 4, they don't take up. See, before you go see light again, it is 12 in the midnight. Then not 12 in the midnight, immediately by 4 or 5 a.m., they have taken the light again throughout the day. And we are paying for the bill. What are we paying for? Now, like yesterday, I didn't see fuel to put in my generator, and there was no light. Like that, uh, no, you know, shut the side now, so. mm. that area. We always have problem with life. <sighs> so the citizen in this nation today, the, this present government, I don't know what is happening. Everybody are in pain. Everybody are in tears. Everybody are in cry. So it's a day. is very difficult. The, 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 the place that we normally pay 50 naira before is now 300. The place you normally pay 200 before is now 500. Like Sidin, that we normally buy 120, now it's 800. Uh, Ever so, that we normally buy 80 naira, now it's 300. How can the poor survive? Mm. Okay. Like then. those uh, local so that I really remember one so that they call a king, we buy two, two, 50 naira that time. Now only one is 100 naira. For how long will we, con we will continue like this? Eh? It's very painful. So know, that is I my contribution. I'm just praying because I see half hope in this nation. I believe that one day, one day, there will be liberation in Nigeria. And Nigeria will rise again and become the real and the original major city in Africa. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And I appreciate your concerns. I so appreciate your concerns. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? This is Malik. This is from Malik. Yes, Malik. Okay, go ahead, please. Madam, sometime last two weeks or three weeks ago, mm. we spoke about this for issue that there is still the price, but the government is saying it still maintains 162. Mm. Right? Yes. But we're selling 165 is a major financial station. Mm -hmm. Right now, from so selling 180, 175, 170, why some as maybe the government uh, stations are selling for NMPC for 165? But thereabouts, you are buying for 180. Let's assume you want to buy 10 liters. 
you walk your ten meters, you get eight from eight points or nine points, something like that. Mm. From the attendance bill, this issue has been on God knows when. And the PPMC, I mean, what other people call, that monitor those people to make sure you get the accuracy of the pump of what you're buying, the liters of what you're buying for, they don't care. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I guess. And the government still tells people that they're not increasing the fuel. Yes, you see both me, 180 on their uh, view board, whatever, yeah. this station there. Do you get my point? Yeah. To tell you that the nation itself and those in charge don't do their job and nobody cares. That is why you can go to a place and keep 200. The one thing we'll look into it, we'll look into it, nothing happens. When the masses of the same nation that knows that when it comes to election, we know who and who are put things into our eyes. We see Kaiden at our back and hail them. Tell them and put them back to power. What do you expect to get? I don't even understand me. I get you. I look at, for example, now. After in July, you're going to want to um, Ojo Leba. That road has been back for almost one year. Yesterday, we traveled from Ojoza to Point Road because of that road. I have been shouting this thing. The government is aware, but nobody cares about it because they know we are going to We can only make noise when we see voters in. Either by hook or by crook or by rigging. The masses don't want to stand for their rights. The day we start holding our council law, the government chairman, the governors will sit up. You can't lift the, the leg and run to the head. Mm -mm. It will not work. Mm -hmm. When you hold the leg, the head and the body will not be able to move. Yeah. That is when they will change. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, good morning. <laughs> Please reduce the volume of your radio. Hello, uh, good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? Uh, my name is Chimed. I'm calling from Chimed. Mm. Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead, please. Uh, my, my sister, is this really painful that we are passing all this thing here in our country? Now, just that you happen to be a, a, a giant of Africa. Now, we have to come nothing. Is this really painful? Everything is keep on going high. We know good load. We don't know water, no electricity, nothing. We can't even say this is one thing that you are benefiting from government. Nothing, nothing. No single thing. We don't have light. We don't have, we don't have water. Upon that, this is keep on going high. We can't even get the fuel. Okay, the fuel is okay. Let's let get the fuel. So that even though the fuel is 200, they can't even see and buy. No, but they can't even see the fuel. So you to see the fuel, I have to wake up around 5, around 4 in the morning and go and for two for free session in order to, to buy for the whole day. You see how very painful. We are, we are talking about the problem we are having, the issue are having for the because of the war that's going on in Ukraine. But let me tell you, the typical, like, even so far, even though Ukraine today and Russia today, they still have constant fuel, no lack of fuel. No queue there. In any other part of Africa, nothing like you. The way what? It's so hard. Mm. Okay, look at here, let go here. No, we're talking about never go have good load, but look at they set out the whole more construction, you know, the whole at the same time. Cutting a heavy traffic, working major load. You can't even move where. Well. If you come out of the time going to work, you spend five hours. Before you even get your shop, you tell the lady gone. What are, what are you going to say? It's so hard. It let them finish. Let them start one load and finish that one. Before they can go to another one. They never finish this one. They'll jump to another one. And before you know, they'll leave that one and jump to another place. If you don't have to do a construction. And look at the popular, the, uh, the popular people that we live in here in Lagos. It's so hard. I think these people need to consider the matter. They don't even have any, any a single question. Mm. Thank you. Just continue your good work. I appreciate your work over there. Thank you. Um, I... I am speechless because it's it's something that affects every one of us daily. <sighs> Nigeria, my country. The signals on it's one point three. We're talking um, ha. We're talking for scarcity, and it has it has gotten people up in their emotions, and they have every right to their opinions and what they are going through. 
Okay. Hello, good morning. <coughs> Reduce the volume of your radio sets. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? This is Rebel J here. Um, I'd like to contribute to the current topic. Go ahead, please. What the last, yeah, what the last week has said is very true. Yeah. Um, what I can summarize is to say, we live in a situation where it is survival of the fittest, a capitalist nation. So, we have two options. Either we have visionary dedicated leaders, or we have masses who are ready to revolutionize the system. Why do we need to wait for the elections to happen till next year before we can change things? That's a very good question. The That's a very the traffic, good question. The well, the, the, the cheating at the filling stations. Why do we have to wait till they change the, 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 the government? We can do it today. It, it just needs us to be committed and focused. If we really want to be happy to take care of ourselves as a country, as a people, starting from the grassroots, what, ha what, what is happening? The local government chairman and I'm not interested but it's just like making money. Even if the person at the top awards billion naira contracts, it is the same admiral voice that will stop the contractors from working. Mm -hmm. It is the same contractors that will that will, will embezzle the funds. We are all part of complicit. We are all complicit in this issue. So it, it's just two ways. I don't have a, a leader that comes like a dictator. I mean, it is under we did not like Babangida, but it's under Babangida that we built the Todd Miller Bridge. Mm -hmm. And so many things you can point out like that. Visionary leaders who went ahead and changed their, their state. When I do, for example, change Cross River State, it was never on the map. We only had Cross River State like uh, Ujuju Kalaba. <laughs> but when he came there, he changed it. Within a period. The same thing you can, you can pick out governors that have done that monumental change. That's why we challenge it. So it needs a concerted effort. The people are not able to speak up. They don't speak up. I mean, I talked to somebody and he's telling me uh, he can't miss the 15,000 they will give him for election. That he doesn't care about anything. He must collect 15,000. If that kind of mentality still exists, how do how will we move? How do we move forward? So, so well, I, I, I'm on the road. Sorry. <laughs> um, so you, you just want that. Lagos is very big. The governor cannot see everything. The, the people who are, where are the commissioners of work? Where are the, the, the ministers, the, where are the workers, where are the civil servants who are supposed to say, oh, oh God, this thing is wrong somewhere here. Like the other caller who was complaining about somewhere in Surulere. Yeah. How will you see it? I'm at Yanova now, driving all the way from VI all the way. There are bad spots everywhere. Ijora is bad. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. So if we, we keep on blaming Gwari. I'm not in support of him. He's the third governor. He played the president, but... He can't do everything. Huh. That's just the truth. Thank you. Thank you each so of, Each of us must put in our efforts to make Nigeria better. Otherwise, in Japan, everybody will feel like, I can't do it. I'm wrong. <laughs> thank you, you know, very much. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Buddy. Thank you. Well done for the, for, the, for the job you are doing. I hope this program, whether this will even listen to this program, I don't know. See, don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so here's the thing that I picked from... Okay. L let me pick this. Hello, good morning. Hello. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Your name and where are you calling us from? Yeah, Ibeto from Sunday. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I hear Nigerians complaining and crying and lamenting. Mm. What, what can we do? We, we, in 2016, we asked for it. In 2019, we asked for it. I will go over with ask for. You can't go and order for Apple. They, they, they give you Apple. You come back to complain that, oh, no, it is actually Mango you ask for. We, we, the only advice I give to all of us is to tighten our belt. Because uh, we, we, we just, we, even the way it's going, uh, 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 the best option, we put our minds towards trying to do, make things, how it could be better for us. We, on your own personal uh, 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 concern. So, all this, I understand what people are going through. Yes. I, me too, I don't like it, I don't like it. But this is, 
Of course, this is what we ask for. So why we wait? We have to have the patience. By 2023, we'll, we'll decide personally on what we do. It, it, how long can we continue to lament and complain? Like, like I said, I advise Nigerians, I advise every one of us to tighten our belts. Even if a new government comes in, a total new government comes in, it could take them some time, time to correct whatsoever. So the best thing we have to do is to push our minds towards how we can get our lives better. My sister, this is what I think will... It's okay, it's okay, and it's all right. Thank you so much. Well, um, quickly before I wrap up the program, this is what I'm going to say, because it is affecting everybody. I haven't had light in the last two, one or two weeks, and and it's not convenient, right? But while we're saying, while we're conversing for people to get their PVCs, people are... Politics is money. Money is politics. People are going to roll out a lot of machineries. But here's what I want you to... Um, want us all to note. Um, whether we vote in a council or a governor or a president, while the people are in power for another four to eight years, we're the ones who are going to be at the, um, how do they call it, short end, um, we're the ones that are going to feel it the more. So even when they're coming to give you money, because yes, they will give us money. Yes, people would collect money. Yes, people will collect the phones. I've seen, I've, I've seen a lot of um, giveaways, political giveaways in court. Right? Yes, they're going to people have vested interests. But what is more important is even if you collect those monies, vote your conscience. Remember that it's another four to eight years. We we have bad roads. We have um, um we don't sometimes have water. People have to wait to get water. You can't even you can't confidently comfortably go to work and come back. It's almost as if people are missing. It's the the, the rate at which people are missing is high. Look at the recent um outbreak in Kuja prison in Abuja. When you think about all of this, for all of us that are knowledgeable, let's educate the let's educate the grassroots because they don't know. They will come out in mass and vote for the people. They don't know. They will also tell you that yes, we'll manage it and Nigeria is good, Nigeria is bad. To so each his own. But for us that are knowledgeable, let's also educate the grassroots so that um they know that whether you vote this person or not, we need to keep people accountable. Whether you collect the contracts, whether you stop people, it's affecting everybody. And we cannot, while people people um, benefit from chaos, right? Let's try and make sure that the minimal benefit from chaos is is small. If you have people in, in places, begin to disturb them. Because you know what will happen. By the time the people get in power, whoever you're voting gets in power, right? If you call them, they'll no longer answer you. You're going to be stuck in traffic. If you tell them that, oh, I know, you know, Nigeria has a way of, who do you know, who do I know? Whether you know somebody or you don't know somebody, you still be in traffic. You're going to, you see that the filling station, the fellow attendant will sell you 220 or 200 and still collect 15 or 100 naira per keg, right? Or even to tell you they're not selling in a keg. What we need to do is, whether they give you or not, whether they do stomach infrastructure for you or not, remember, the monies will finish. The items would um, expire. They will become faded, but we're still left with the problem. So, as knowledgeable as we all are, let's begin to educate the grassroots because I, I feel that's where politicians go to all the time. So, if we begin to educate the grassroots and tell them we want a better nation, and it really starts from making sure that the roads are good, we have good road networks, everywhere is blocked. You can't, if you sometimes, okay, HR will tell people that you're coming in late, they'll deduct your money. If you do you know the amount of time you're spending in traffic, if you think about all of that, um, if you think about the time you spend in traffic, <laughs> right? If people come and say, oh, take this, take that, it will be better, it will not be better. Everybody has an agenda. You, to your own agenda is to um, make sure that... <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry that we have to go through this all the time. The phone lines are ringing. I can't pick. I hear your... <laughs> I hear the pain right but when they come because his election is eight months they, they're going to bring in their machineries by september october september october right if you like collect if you like don't collect just make sure that you vote your conscience and know that after you've collected it they might not pick up your calls any longer they just say okay okay we'll, we'll come back it's people we have them our uncles and aunties i'll call you back they will not call you back but then we still have the problem so whatever we can do in our only two way in our own little way, in our own little way. Let's make this country livable for us. Because it's not everybody that is going to live. 
It's not everybody that is going to use. Some people are stuck. Some people have faith that Nigeria work. Yes, it will work, but it also starts from us having to um, do the right thing. And sometimes the right thing is telling somebody that please now, even if you collect, vote your conscience. Even if it's even yes, well, everybody's hungry and everybody's not hungry, but at least your peace of mind, your <laughs> okay, <this book. laughs> your your conscience what's your conscience don't, don't take my money my, my money <laughs> anyway um thank you so much for everyone who has called in i feel the pain we i feel the pain so much but however it is let's the, my my final takeaway is let's educate the grassroots so that we vote the right people and we can hold people accountable Nigeria can still work if we hold people accountable. Have a wonderful week. I cannot pick those calls. I am sorry. And um, I hope that we buy fuel at 165 or 163 per litre. So we come your way again next week, Saturday. Ah, bye, they come and take over. <laughs> Have a wonderful week. Create opportunities for people. And please don't lose opportunities. Have a wonderful week and God bless. Wait, Oga, channel. Even if you like, bring Obi, nothing will change. As it's not even, it's not even about.